the 2021 HP Pavilion Gaming Desktop. One word to describe it, underrated. I have talked about this PC in my previous videos, but I never made my honest review about it. That's why today I am going to show you the HP Pavilion 2021 Gaming PC honest review. And here you have the topics that we are going to discuss as the video goes by. So you can skip to the topic that interests you the most, but I recommend watching the whole whole video if you are thinking of buying this computer. So first, we are going to discuss the specifications for this PC. It has a Ryzen 5 3500 which is better than the i5 9400. For the GPU, it comes with the GTX 1650 Super, 8GB of RAM, 256GB of SSD, a mouse and a keyboard. Oh and it comes with Windows 10 as well, so you don't have to install anything. Now what I like the most about this PC is the CPU and GPU combination. It has a 0% bottleneck. This means that both CPU and GPU work really well together, so you don't get any FPS drops while gaming. The Ryzen 5 3500 is a great pick for gaming and it's going to help you as well with editing and rendering videos. So if you want to create content, the Ryzen 5 3500 is really good. And the GTX 1650 Super, it's a great overall graphics card to play video games at 1080 if you want to play games like Fortnite, this PC is perfect and if you are thinking of building this PC, don't even think about it, because only the GPU and CPU combination is going to cost you $839 when you can literally buy this PC for $822. This means that if you buy this pre-built, you are saving a lot of money and when I mean a lot, I mean $400 for the same exact PC. So not only you are getting the same performance but you are getting it at a way cheaper price so please before building your own pc inform yourself now let's talk about the pros and cons of this computer the pros like i said before the cpu gpu combination it's way cheaper and it has a no percent bottleneck Another pro is that it comes with accessories like the mouse and keyboard and it comes as well with Windows 10 installed. So if you don't know how to install Windows 10, which is pretty easy, but maybe you don't know how to do it and you don't want to learn it, you don't have to worry about it. It already comes with a Windows 10 installed. Now let's talk about the cons and my recommendations to fix this problem. The first con is that it only comes with 8GB of RAM and the second con is that it comes with only 250 6 gigabytes of SSD. So what are my recommendations to fix this problem? Well, you can easily add another 8 gigabyte of RAM stick and add 1 terabyte of hard drive. This is really easy to install, it's cheap and I promise you that the gaming performance is really better, like even 2 times better in some games. But of course, if your budget is $800 and you don't want to spend an extra single dollar, then don't worry about it, you don't really need this in order to have a good gaming experience, but doing this will improve your gaming experience by a lot. It really depends on your necessities. And this is where this question comes to mind. Do you really need this PC? In order to answer this question, you have to ask to yourself, what games are you going to play? Are you going to play competitive games at 1080p or you want to play games like Red Dead Redemption at 4K in ultra settings? So if your objective is to play competitive games or even hard running games at 1080p, then yes, this PC is really good for it. You won't regret buying this one. But if your answer is that you want to play really hard running games at 4K resolution at a budget level, this is impossible to make. With $800, you are not going to be able to buy a gaming PC to play 4K games at 60 FPS. But if you have that budget, you can buy this PC and have a great gaming experience while using it. I think that this is one of the most underrated gaming PCs that you can buy today and it's the newest release from HP. By the way, I will talk about HP laptops in my future videos, so if you wanna hear about it, leave a like. So now we come to the conclusion. My personal and honest conclusion about this one is that it's one of the best PCs that you can buy right now on a budget. And if you are not going to play 4K games, I mean if you don't have a 4K monitor, this one is your best option. Really underrated and really good. But the other thing to mention is that if you put another stick of RAM and one terabyte of hard drive, this PC will improve the performance by a lot. I will leave the link to this PC in the description of the video 
as well with 8GB of RAM and a terabyte of hard drive. So if you decide to buy everything, you have it in the description of this video. Also, I want to say that I have a website where you can inform yourself about technology, pre-build, PC builds, keyboards, and gaming mice. So if you want to inform yourself even more, you have the website in the description of this video. If this video was helpful to you, please leave a comment and a like so I can keep making these videos. Thanks for watching guys, see you next time.